Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Meshing in Comsol Multiphysics. A few videos have already been uploaded in this particular playlist and I request you to do watch those videos because those videos might be useful for your simulations. Now, today's topic is boundary layer meshing. This is an option which is available in Comsol Multiphysics. You can use this option if you are working with boundary layer flows or something similar to this. So in case of boundary layer flow, this is important to know the information right at the boundary layer. And sometimes what happens, your boundary layer thickness might be very thin compared to your dimension of the entire geometry. In those cases, if you use this boundary layer meshing, then you can have a very refined mesh at the boundary layer and that may solve your problem. However, for all the cases, this is not mandatory to use boundary layer mesh even if you are working with boundary layer flows. Suppose your geometry is very simple, your geometry dimension is not that much and you can actually afford to do a fine or extra fine mesh in your entire geometry. In those cases, you may get rid of this. So let us go to the interface. So we are taking a geometry initially let us make the unit in millimeter and let me take a rectangle of dimension say 2 mm height and 5 mm width you can take anything else now I go to mesh right click on it there is an option boundary layers you can see I'll click on that so along with the boundary layers one option will automatically come and that is boundary layer properties if you go there, you will see there are few options as inputs and those are available here and those options are number of boundary layers. So you can define how many layers you want to define. There is another option boundary layer stretching factor. So it actually compensates the, I mean, the, the dimension of each boundary layer. So once I will mesh it, you can see it. So might be this, yeah, initially it will be entire geometry. I click on domain, then your domain will be chosen. And in the boundary layer, you can choose this option. Might be the bottom wall is my boundary layer. So that's why I am choosing this option. So the boundary layer will be entire geometry and your boundary in boundary layer properties, you choose the bottom wall because this would be my hydrodynamic boundary layer. Say we are solving for just assume we will be solving for an open channel flow. So only boundary layer is the bottom wall. Then what I do is I just click on build selected. So you can see at the bottom we have different meshes. So this is the boundary layer and you can see gradually these dimensions are changing. I mean the most, I mean the, the nearest one has the minimum dimension and as you go away the dimension is increasing, dimension of the mesh. Now let me play around with these properties like now we have a number of boundary layers 8. So if I make it 20, let's see what happens. You can see number increases. So you can actually play around with this. Before that, if you go to size and you choose finer, it will become even, yeah, you can actually play around and you can also change the dimension by this. You can see it is changing. If I make it extremely fine, it will become like this. As you can see at the boundary layer, you have very fine mesh. See, this is how you can define your boundary layer meshes. Now, let me play around with this factor. Let me see what happens if I make it 2.0. Let me see what happens. So, those are the default options available. I mean, they have defined. Comsol has defined all those options. So, we have to play around and we have to know what exactly their functions are. So you can see, yeah, some changes happen, obviously. 
so now let me make it say one just look at here so you can see the change yeah so this is how you can just play around and you can make your appropriate geometry now you see how many fine meshes are at the boundary layer but at the middle you don't have that much fine meshes so this may actually need your uh, fulfill your requirement of having very thin very fine mesh at the boundary layer so that was all about today's lecture today we stop here and uh, i request you to subscribe to our channel for more updates we are also making videos on engineering mathematics we'll be uploading more videos on comsol so kindly stay tuned with us thank you